Hello, and welcome to another episode of Little Manager 2014 with Nottingham Forest. And yeah, how did the second part of the season go? Well, uh, let's see. Well, let's go to the league first. I won it again mm, with one more point than last year. Uh, actually, conceded the least amount of goal, but I didn't score the most amount of goal. I think I did that last season. Yes, I did. So, well, things changes. Uh, but yeah, uh, the place that uh, Charlie Austin got when got her top goal scorer with 24, Jesse Lingard top assist maker with 13, and well, awards wise, uh, it's not play of the month. Uh, Maximum Koval got her placement golden the Golden Glow, Go Glow, yes, that's right. Uh, for the Barclays manager of the season was me again, twice in a row. Was awesome. Uh, the team of the season was uh, Charlie Austin, Chris Cowan and Jesse Lingard with uh, Eric Dyer and Sasko Jakovakalakalaka on the bench. Uh, award wise, uh, I'm going back there now because for some reason it went out. Uh, the top scorer, I showed you. The young player, of th not the young player of the month, the young player of the year was F. F what the hell is wrong? The young player, where's the young player of the year? There we go. Well, for some reason, Oliver is 33 years old, and my guy got second, and that guy got third. No idea who that is even. P. F. A. Charlie Austin, go of the season, third place, Sakwa Laka Laka Laka, and yeah. Alexandro Mitterokovekalaka. Can't pronounce that name. Those names too hard. Uh, let's go to the. I also I want I want other things too. Uh, the league cap I actually won. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday got beaten down in there. I'm actually gonna show you the matches. From there. Uh, Jesse Lingard and Scott Dan scored. In the at home, uh, then they and us unusura laka laka laka. Can't pronounce that names. I'm gonna show the goals from the final. I'm going to try a different way of showing it now. I'm gonna go through the freaking thing, but I'm gonna show it from different competitions. First of all, I'm gonna concentrate only on the freaking Premier League. So, yes, this seven wants to load. Uh, waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah, well, there we go. Uh, we, we scored quite quickly. I think it's almost uh, half a minute. Yeah, Austin getting the ball from uh, Cohen, I think. Yeah, Cohen with the beautiful assist. Austin just running with it. Austin is awesome. And then uh, Macedonian guy scored, and Macedonian guy scored again. Can't pronounce his name. Uh. Where the hell? Uh, the European. Well, I want. I did win it again. Kind of spoiled it when I didn't manage to find it because I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, yeah, we won it after extra rounds, but let's go a little back. Uh, let's go all the way back to the. F That's too far back. Yo. Uh, 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 there we go. Uh, lost at uh, the freaking Paris Saint Germain stadium. Don't call, call that as the name of it from now on. I copyright that. That's the name of it now. It's not. Don't care what it is in real life. It's the Paris Saint Germain stadium from now on. Yeah, man. So in the ninety second minute, get away with. I got two away goals. That really helped me because I managed to pull off a win at home. So yeah, if I only had one with one, I would have gone through on away goals. And then I met uh, uh, Bayern Dortmund. Just Lingard scored two goal goals in that match uh, at home. Then we actually managed to win two one away. Pretty proud of that. Then don't ask me how this happened. Four one against uh, Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu. Don't ask me how. I don't know how. Probably pumped up on steroids or something. Uh, Charlie Austin and. That guy, who's not that region, apparently. Yeah, that's good to know. 
Uh, he apparently, play yeah, if you want a good player, sign Jonathan Silva. He apparently plays for Real Madrid in 2018. Yeah, Charlie Austin getting the goal, which made it a draw, which well, we were secured, secured anyways, but it was nice. And then, in the 98th minute, guess who scored? Extra time, pretty frustrating to frustrating to watch. But yeah, Charlie Austin got us the goal, and as you can see, we really got dominated. Yep. Uh, that's usually what actually happens. I get dominated by that win. Like a true bastard or whatever. Load game. I believe in you. Oh my god, this takes so long. I can't be intending for that long. Uh, Dyer giving the ball to Austin, who runs with it. And he runs. And we put it in and we scores. And who the hell is that? Regent? A real guy. Didn't you sign another goalkeeper? Uh, yeah, he's injured. I want. To, I actually wanted to sign him. He's so awesome, Mark Andre Testegen. I really liked him. I signed him like twice in Football Manager 2013, and he's awesome. Freaking awesome. And yeah, let's get to the Premier League. Uh. the mic a little. Yeah, I uh, won the FA Cup third run against Portsmouth. Uh, on that guy, Turkish guy, and Charlie Austin getting the goals. Then uh, I'll enjoy this. Uh, Trees here against uh, Aston Villa. Uh, Sasko Stankovicki and Charlie Austin getting the goals. Uh, and then 2-1 uh, against West Ham at home. Charlie Austin getting both goals. 2-1 uh, uh, against Tal away. Uh, Alexander Burton and Charlie Austin. Uh, Newcastle, we mentioned win, uh, win against uh, Charlie Austin, Chris Cohen, and Saskus Jankovashkalaka. Uh, Norwich 2 1, uh, Charlie Austin, Henry Lansbury. Uh, 6 2, Henry Lansbury getting a hat trick, Charlie Austin, Eric Dyer, and Sam Byron. We then lost, I think it was the first loss of the season. Yep. Uh, away against Chelsea. Then won away against Cardiff. Uh, Saskus Jankovashkalaka getting goals, and Christoph. Actually, I'm actually going to show you these goals, actually, so, you, so just so you can see some goals. As you can see, all of the play. I really like the uh, uh, double. I only really like Samuel Mumuni and Christoph Selig. So they have great potential. Also, Lawrence McQueenie and Kyle Standa, when he wants to extend the contract with me, because he won't. Because his agent is a B A S T R R D bastard. And ye easy goal for Stjanko Vaskalaka. Uh, I think this has to be Schleskalaka goal. No, it isn't. isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. I have no chance at pronouncing most of these names. It's so hard. So hard. I uh, then lost Africa 5th one against Man City. Don't know why I didn't remember Man City for some reason. Uh, I then won 2-0 uh, against Reading, Charlie Austin and Chris Cohen getting the goals. And uh, Liverpool also beat 2 1. Justin Lingard getting both our goals. Uh, but Alex found the said, No, we want a loan scored. So he scored an own goal. We then won in the League Cup final. I will show that. The 2 2 away. Pretty proud of that. Against Arsenal, it's a hard stadium to go to the Emirates. So yeah, proud of my team. Uh, then 1 0. Uh, Lawrence McQueen getting the goal. Uh, Wigan 2 1. I'm going to show you out of the last. Well, I mean, there we go, there's some really nice goals here. Uh, then 2 on uh, Samuel Mumuni and Jesse Lingard. We then went us on a kind of a losing streak. We lost uh, once here against uh, Southampton and then once here against Man City. Then, well, uh, this is a good one. Uh, for yeah, it's, go it's a lot of beautiful goals. Isn't that a game where he scores a hat trick too? Yeah, Stojan Kowalski. Stojanovski. I can't pronounce that. I'm not Macedonian. I do have Russian at school, but that's kind of irrelevant when it com came it when it came comes to red names. I kind of skipped over the goal the entire. Austin getting it from Must I think Mustn wins that duel, yeah. Then giving it to Austin. He sees that Cox is on the run and puts it in. Uh, I don't think it's another goal from us. Uh, zooming, 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 zooming. 
Not swimming. No, I for fast for why do I say it's swim? I'm stupid. Uh Cox Cox having it. Uh yeah, and Cohen just tapping it in. This is a gold from them, so we don't need to watch that. That is hypocrisy. Oh, is this this one? Oh yeah, it's like a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful goal. Is it this one? No, it isn't. No, the next goal is beautiful. That's a beautiful assist, though. But uh, I had to find out what, which one of those are the goals because that is beautiful. That is football magic, right there. If I remember right, yeah, Koval sending it out. Uh, Stoya Matnoskovski. Yeah, uh, can't lose in the duel. No, no, he's gonna get it back. He's gonna get it back. He then sees, nah, screw you, I don't care about you, I don't care about you, and I'm gonna go in and score, that's a beautiful goal. Just pure magic. Uh, then 3-1, uh, Sasko, my man Sasko, getting a hat-trick. I'm gonna show those goals too, because I love the guy, he's freaking awesome. Sasko Stianoskovski. Who, yeah, I'm never gonna be able to, I should probably nickname him. Sakun Stojanovski, so I think they're calling that. Uh, they scored first though on the corner. As not good uh, conceding first at home, but we we'll managed we managed to turn it around. So uh, f uh, his first goal was with a header from an assist from McWinney. Uh, then gonna fast forward a little, and then uh, Cohen is gonna find Mustanen. He's gonna find. I guess yeah, he's gonna no, he's gonna find Lansb Lansbury. Oh yeah, just a long, just so long highlights. Lansbury is gonna find McWinney, He's gonna find Cohen. He's gonna find Mustanen. He's gonna find uh, that guy who dribbles around and scores. Then a b uh, and last goal, a beautiful free kick. Just love the guy. It's freaking awesome. So glad I got him for so cheap. Uh, one one against Stoke. Uh, Charlie Austin is uh, zero zero. Uh, no one getting the goal. Uh, yeah, what was the name of that goal scorer? He didn't have a name. And yeah, actually won 2 0 away against Man United. So let's take a look at the squad. Uh, let's turn off the unwieldy filter. Cause why did I turn it off? I said turn it off. Uh, okay, apps, caps, mm, games played. Max Goal uh, getting 60 uh, appearances and actually one assist. Uh, Joan Costenda, just Lingo, this is like the people I really like to use. Yeah. Uh, goals wise, Charlie Austin with 42 goals uh, in 54 matches. Sves uh, Christian uh, with 23 goals. Do he does have a lot of assists, so that he really contribu contributed assist wise too. Uh, Henry Lingard, just Lingard, and just people really. Assist wise, Jesse Lingard is freaking awesome. So glad I got him for so cheap and he's turning into such an awesome player. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna nickname him now. Uh, how where do you nickname? You can't nickname, can you? It's a nickname. From now on, you'll be known as Sasko. My name is Sasko because I don't want to try to pronounce your last name. Yeah. And Chris Cohen, I, I'm really kind of looking forward to him retiring because then I will get my own son. As you can see, he's played here for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 years. So yeah, he's, he's 31, he's probably gonna retire soon, I would guess. Uh, but I'm not looking forward to it because he's a superb player, but kind of looking forward to it in the way that I'm gonna get my own son. Own son in quote, 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 quotation marks. Uh, let's see if he wants to... No, you still don't want a new contract. Fucking agent. Uh, 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 Charlie Austin. Wow, why is everybody so concerned? Why do everybody want to send him? I'm gonna give up soon. I can't want to change him, but everyone wants a new contract, uh, but I don't wanna. Maybe next season I don't I have a completely different team because I've sold them all and because they're such money grabbing bastards. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a rant uh, from me about that. It looks like I have to play now. Yeah, what? Why isn't this? Is there no no more matches? That's good. But I'm wondering. Uh, Dortmund won it. FC Bayern, Werder Bremen, and Kaiserslautern. And going up in the Bundesliga was Union Berlin and Frankfurt and St. Paul, Burger Dauxen and Duisburg going down to the abyss. 
Och det tör ligga ganska kallt ut. <laughs> I just didn't know I was actually so I called it a biscuit and never put a kiss it. And Barcelona won, then uh, Real Madrid second. They won it quite. It's like us. It's like the battle of the two greatest teams in the world, like we both are in the leagues and I we are the best team in the world, yay. Because I won the World Club Championship, which I will not show you because yeah, I think it sucks and it doesn't matter. And I think I showed it last episode. Uh, Atletico got third. Granada, for some reason, is doing great. I don't know how. They've been in. They've been in. Uh, th fourth, fourth, fifth, sixth. I know the fourth again. I don't know how they do it. I really don't know how they do it. Uh, Rayo Levante and Gnika Maxic. Uh, Gigondan and Osasuna Media. No, they, that, that's not done yet. We'll get back to that later. Or oh, never. Uh, England, the Club Championship. Crystal Palace, Fulham, and Leeds got uh, promoted. I was kind of hoping on Bournemouth because they actually got to the FA Cup final. But and uh, but uh, I guess that would make them not available to play. Be ma ma we couldn't be the mother club because then it would be the same division that wouldn't make sense. So it's a good thing. Crawley, Bolton, and Millwall getting relegated. Huddersfield, Notts County, and Bristol City get promoted. Leighton Orion, Torquay, Preston, and Dagenham Red getting relegated. Did I say relegated twice? I don't know. Uh, Sheffield United, Charlton, Hartlepool, and Barnet. How is Brentford doing? Just because the only reason I know Brentford is because they had a guy who was well known in Norway. Who's a German. Yeah. And the uh, skill premier, Luton and Dartford. And continuing down that base, I'm not going to check that out. FA Cup was won by Tottenham. Bournemouth actually managed to get to the final. So proud of them. Uh, is there anything more? Not really. Well, I guess you could say who m my favorite player of the season is. Could put get that back. Uh, I think it's Sasko, honestly. He's been so good, but and also Christoph Liga. Both are awesome players who I really love. And the, yeah, we also have Risto Mustonen who's really starting to develop in, into a great player. Really great player. Uh, yeah, uh, you look, just look at the stats, yes. 20 pace. A l really good long shot. We also have Ian Bodin who didn't do too good this season, but he's young. I forgive. He's forgiven. Hopefully we'll do better last this next next season. Yeah. Also, I don't know if I'm gonna continue using this guy. Uh, uh, let's see how much m I got him for free. We'll see what I do with him. Maybe if I could get a good, a good amount of money for him, I would sell him. We'll see. Well, we'll see. But yeah, mm, maybe I'll switch. I'm gonna take a break, long break on this save after this, because I've done what I came to do. Take two Champions League in a row. That was my original goal. Uh, so if any of the people watching, usually no, no of them have anything to say, but if you watch this series and you want me to continue with this team, say or I could switch teams or whatever. Because well I kind of done what I came here to do, I would love to continue with them. But yeah, I would also love to take uh, go to maybe another country. And as you can see I'm the I'm doing quite good in the rankings. So yeah, that's the end of the episode. If you liked it, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. If you want to follow the series, subscribe and yeah, bye.